Hey, Chris Matthew here from Telephone. You guys have seen me do a ton of uh, Chrome to Chrome WebRTC calls, Chrome to Firefox, vice versa. But what I'm going to show you today is probably going to blow your mind because this is, as far as I know, the first uh, Chrome or Firefox to Safari call uh, using a WebRTC platform. Um, and how do we do that? No, Safari doesn't have WebRTC implemented yet. Uh, we're using the Phono SDK uh, library, which uh, has uh, fallback uh, SIP capabilities uh, using Flash and Java applets. But it can, but our telephone application can do WebRTC to SIP from the browser. So uh, we're in essence making a uh, WebRTC call from one side uh, to SIP uh, in Safari. So let me show you how it works, and I'm going to choose uh, Firefox today, um, just to show you kind of you know what this would potentially look like. Um, so I'm going to log in uh, as the 73s account. You'll see it go live um, when I do. But no tricks up my sleeve. Here's uh, Apple's uh, Safari browser. Get a good look over here on the corner, Safari. Um, we're going to go to uh, Telephone here. And I'm going to log in again, as I mentioned, to 73s. See up here? So as soon as this actual page uh, comes online, even though it's Safari, we should see the uh, presence light up in Firefox that it's uh, online. So there, the page loaded, and the presence is on, and I'm going to talk to Chris Matthew, which is me, in Firefox. So what's interesting about this, when you click on, on a user, um, it knows already that it can't make a video call, so it just says call. Um, same thing with this. So if we look at uh, Terry here, you'll see that I can call uh, Terry, and it knows that he's online and he's using a WebRTC-capable browser. So uh, the video call is there, same, same here. Um, but if we go to 73s, it knows that 73s is using a browser that's not uh, WebRTC-capable. So now we just have these call buttons instead of video calls because uh, our, our current fallback strategy is voice only. So let me show you how it works. So I'll, I'll do two different calls, one from Safari and one from Firefox to show you how it works. So let me hit the call button in Safari. Notice there's no allow, rubber to see allow, you know, call or anything there. It just initiates the call. Here's the incoming call in Safari. I'll accept it. Notice here's the permissions for uh, the camera and mic. I'll say, and there's no video. Lots of feedback because I'm on the same machine. Well, I'll end the call. So there you go. That was uh, Safari to uh, Firefox, and Safari was running out the call through SIP, and Firefox was handling the call as a WebRTC call. Um, so now let's go the other way. Let's. Um, let me call from Firefox to Safari. So let's hit call. It says, hey, are you sure? Yes. Allow. There's the, the, prop, the prompt on the, here to answer the call. And watch, it won't ask for any uh, credentials. Yep. So um, what, what, you, what you did see is um, I do have the fire, the, the, the Safari uh, flash set to remember. So that's how I'm not being prompted by that annoying little flash box that says, uh, do you, is it okay to share your microphone? But nonetheless, uh, there you go. I just had a fun telephone call with Chris Matthew. I'll tweet that. Cool. How about that? <laughs>